Hello, what's up you two photographer Ronix Twitter Network and this tutorial I'll be showing how you can easily and simply color grade skin tones for your photos in Photoshop. So this is going to be a very easy and simple to follow tutorial. So you just want to get the image from looking like this to looking like this in just Photoshop and just spending no penny at all. So this is the before and the after. So let me just tell it this so that you can start from the very start. So before you even proceed, I request that you hit the like button on this video because it's going to help you to push and recommend this video to so many people out there. So simply hit the like button on this video and don't forget to subscribe. So what we're going to be using, we're just going to be using gradient maps. So the very first thing is going to be simply copying skin tones that are already existing as part of this image so that we can create a nice and warm looking event skin tone. So we're going to come to the adjustment layers right here. And simply select gradient map right here so simply select gradient map and it's going to change the image to looking like the colors on these color swatches so for my case I have black and white that is why mine has turned out to look like this and if I told you have any other color yours may look a little bit different but don't mind about that because we're going to be changing the colors later on so after opening the gradient map option within Photoshop simply come and select the gradient icon right here and simply turn it off by clicking on the eye icon right here so after doing this we are going to double click on the gradient icon and not the layer mask so make sure to click on the gradient icon and click where it shows or displays the color to open up the gradient editor dialog box within photoshop so with this we are going to be mapping or copying colors from the already existing image and mapping them from the darkest color to the brightest color so i just going to simply left click once and left click on the color and we sample from the darkest color within the skin which is this color right here and you can see it has sampled the darkest color right here and you're going to come and click ok and you're going to do the same for the middle so when you make a point in the middle right there Simply change the location to 50 so that it can be in the middle and simply click on the color icon and choose a mid-tone color or a mid-point. So just going to choose this color right here. So we are going in for that kind of warm color. So I'm just going to choose any warm color that is belonging to the skin tone. So I feel like uh, this color is a little bit warm and I'll simply click OK. Then I'll choose the one from the highlight or the brightest point of the skin tone. Single click. Click on color and choose the one from the brightest color of the skin tone and click OK. And you can see we have copied the same colors that were existing within the skin. And we have put them in this gradient editor dialog all line right here. And I'm just going to simply click OK and close this. So I'll just come and turn it back on. And you can see it is now affecting the overall image or the whole image. So I'm just going to change the blend mode from normal and change it all the way to soft light. And you can see that this is affecting the overall image and it is a little bit too much. So what you're going to do, you're just going to come to the opacity and take down the opacity to reduce on the amount or the effect of this. So I'm just going to take it up around negative for around 40 percent 40 percent looks better and it looks a little bit natural but this is not all because when we apply the gradient map it tends to take out the dimensions or the shapes of this very image so we just want to bring back the shapes or dimensions and we bring out those highlights in this image so we are going to come back to our adjustments and we create a curves adjustment layer right here so after creating it just come and click you left click on the brightest point so this is the darkest point and the brightest point so left click and drag this until when the image is getting a little bit brighter up to when these lines are just starting to spike on this histogram right here close it and now double click on this adjustment layer right here so when you double click it open up it opens up the layer style dialog box in photoshop and we just want to take the effect from the darkest areas so simply click on this underlying layer and make sure the blend if is set to gray right here so when you come to the underlying layer simply drag this from 
the shadows so we are going to drag this from affecting the shadows just like that until when the highlights are only displaying and you can see right now the highlights are now popping but it looks to be a harsh kind of transition so we only want it to affect the brightest areas of the skin so we're going to hold down the alternate key on the keyboard if at all you're using windows or you can use the option key if at all you, you are using mac hold it down and simply split this so you hold down and you split this and that is going to refine that and blend it more into a skin so we are now going to come and click ok but remember when you apply the color grading it also affected the hair area so we are going to come to the gradient map layer and simply invert it by pressing ctrl i on the keyboard to invert the color grading effect and after that just come and get the brush tool and make sure the hardness is set all the way to 0% and soft round brush has been selected opacity at 100% and flat 100% Make sure that you have black and white on these color swatches and if at all you have any other random color you can reset by left clicking on the tiny squares right here then you can switch between black and white by using x on the keyboard or you can use this arrow to switch between black and white remember in photoshop white is going to reveal and black is going to hide that is why our color grading has been hidden behind this black layer mask so we are going to reveal it by painting using a white brush so I'll just get the brush tool, increase on the size by using the bracket keys on the keyboard and I'll simply start painting over the skin to reveal our color grading and you can see this looks better and it looks natural so make sure you paint on only the skin and you don't paint in the hair or the other areas that may be affected by the color grading so right now the skin looks better and it looks warmer and you can do the same for the highlights that we embedded into the image by simply selecting the white layer mask and pressing ctrl i on the keyboard and with the brush tool reduce on the size and only paint on the areas that you want to have this nice shine or the nice glow within the image so just paint on the shoulder and right here on the cheek area and right now the color grading has been embedded into the image and we are now done color grading this very Im image and let me show you quick before and after for the color grading i would hold down the option key or the alternate key on the keyboard and show you the before and after before after just see how nice and warm the skin tones have gotten to be and now they are looking better and natural and warm enough so this is it for this video and if at all you have learned a thing or two from this tutorial, don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel. If at all you have been watching and you're not yet subscribed to this channel, Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in yet more amazing tutorials. And don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.